Hi everybody, Jordan Buholtz, Executive Director of the brand new National Soccer Hall of Fame. I have got with me FC Dallas player Callum Montgomery. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me here. Of course. So we're just going through some of the Hall of Fame, going through some of the interactives. Uh, and not only is this a incredibly interactive place, yep. uh, but let's remember, uh, some people would call us a museum. Yep. Uh, I call us an experience. We never use that word around here, but we do have museum-like things, yep. uh, and that includes artifacts. Over 400 of them inside of this building, actually, wow. uh, that we pulled out of the archives in North Carolina. Uh, all of these artifacts have been there since the original Hall of Fame closed in 2010. Right. Uh, so we went in, did our own little kind of Indiana Jones Got exploration, you, pick and choose. pulled out the best things, yeah. they all came here. Yeah, I um, love some of the retro, retro jerseys, really. It's amazing, the retro jerseys. you know, we They're got cool. the, the, the jean, yeah. you know, 94 jersey over there, so some really cool stuff. But there was one piece that wasn't in the archives that actually came as a very late addition to the right. Hall of Fame. We didn't even know we were going to get it until about a month out. Uh, and that are these right here. And what these are is these are Tony DeChico, all right, who was yep. the head coach of the women's national team in 1999 during that World Cup. How right. old were you in 1999? I think I was two. Okay, so do you remember two. the game? Yeah, right. she clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but th I think this is so incredibly cool because these are actually reproductions of the game notes yep. that he talked to his team about in the locker room pregame. Uh, I think it's really cool when you're looking at these, you know, a lot of it is the same setup that we still use today in our locker room. And, just locker rooms, colleges around the country and the world. It's exactly the same setup. Nothing's really changed. You know, you have your offensive set pieces, your defensive starting lineup, keys to the winning defensively, yep. offensively. So the same type of thing to see that they were doing back then is pretty cool to see how that has carried on. It really is pretty amazing. What, what I love about this piece is you think about it nowadays, this is really a lost art. Because mm -hmm. they don't have flip charts in locker rooms anymore. It's all whiteboard, yep. right? So yep. somebody goes in after the game, scrubs <laughs> it off, and you're never going to see something yep. like this again. You know, yeah, so fine. for somebody to have the wherewithal to go into the locker room, right, and grab this yeah. after the game was pretty spectacular. Yeah, There's a lot of really cool inside baseball stuff on this. If you remember the highlights of that championship match, there was a point where China has a corner kick. Yep. Christine Lilly saves the ball off the line, right? The ball gets passed by Anna Scurry. Christine Lilly saves it off the line. If you look in here on corners, see in that upper left corner in the goal? Yeah. What's it say? KL. KL. Christine Lilly, right? Yep. That's amazing stuff to me that she was in the right spot at the right time. And we've got this amazing artifact here to, to help tell that story. Yeah, it's really cool.